What's up, everybody? This is Zephyratos, and uh, we're going to be playing some Dot Hack GU. I'm going to start continuing on here. Okay, so it looks like we have two unread emails, so we got to go check those out. So we also got to see what else we got here for the memoir. So we got strong feelings. She's convinced me to help her head for Luminocloth Arena in the Holy Plates Tournament. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We still in the party? We do still have a party going. Good. Okay, so we are here in Lumina Cloth, so we gotta go do this. Welcome in, welcome in. How you doing there, chat? Welcome, Master Hasio. This is the m menu. Arena rules state that the Emperor for another palace cannot participate in a different palace's tournament. For an Emperor to participate in another palace's tournament, they must give up their Emperor status in their current palace. If you do so, you will automatically be selected to participate in the tournament. So we're going to go ahead and, I guess, talk then? Okay, we got to read the email first, I guess. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we got to log out. Let's see what the email here is, chat. We have three of them. All right. Okay, so we got one about from Gaspard and one of them from uh, Syllabus. I've only read about it online, but it looks like they were able to transform between a wolf and a beast in a beast race. As for the characteristics, I think it kind of resembled your adept rogue in its ability to switch its weapon. I'm so happy I got the werewolf card right now. My character is a beast race, so I wish I could transform like that. Lol. We can send him one back. So we got transform. You don't know your character looks like. Looks more like a pig or a boar, rather than a wolf, right? Mm, I don't know about that one. Gummy bonus cards. Maybe I'll try collecting them too. Yeah, right. Hmm. Um... Guess the first one. That, that one's not very nice either, but I think it's a little bit better. Um, syllabus. We'll do the syllabus one. 
Oh, and syllabus is max. Affection, that's kind of nice. Cool. Guess that's not much of an answer, is it? I can't really call my volunteer activities a hobby, and jogging is more for health than for fun. Everyone listens to music, so that's out too. What's the one thing you want the most right now? Or, what kind of music do you listen to? Well, he just said it's out. So, let's ask him this one. What's the one thing you want the most right now? Send that. Ida signals found in the holy place. Holy Palace. Alright, so... Picked up during the Holy Palace title match. So it's not really telling us... Oh, there's something new here. What does this say? Alcade. Oh, okay. Her location is Sapporo, Hokkaido. She likes Salvador Arihara. Okay, that weird reporter guy. Well, that's pretty interesting. Usagi Maru, and you, and see you around Haseo. All right. So that's all we had, though. Let's go back into the world here and see what else that they want us to do. So what is it that we actually have to do? In Lumina Cloth Arena, we are there. And counter to register for the Holy Palace Tournament. I thought that's what we just did, but maybe, maybe there's a separate counter, maybe? for the spectators. Oh, okay. So I'll need to bring Alcade. So we are able to do it now. So we need her. And we also need Syllabus. And we have a new mail. But I don't think it's important, so let's go ahead and just do this. And do the tournament. Design your title and change your registration. Yep. That's what we will do. Alright, registration complete. What? You gave up the Emperor's throne so easily. Yeah, yes. we can do it again. It's not like I was no in the tournament to become the emperor anyway. Even without a fancy title, the fact that I beat Entrance will never go away. True. Definitely true. That sounds exactly like something Sirius would say. Thank you, Haseo. Huh? What for? Will you, you know... Go on adventures with me again sometime. Definitely. We, we definitely will. Sure. Really? That's great. So, I'll see you around then. And just so you know, I'm persistent and I never give up. So, All right. you'd better invite me sometime, okay? I'll never forgive you if you don't. The Ida attached to Sirius. And the winged guy, and the naked guy who were with him. Epitaph's call to Ida. Huh. Hopefully, this will get me one step closer to the truth. Yeah, hopefully. 
Guess I'll log out and go check my email. We are lacking quite a bit of information. So we do need to somehow find some new stuff. I'm going to get another new email. All right, so let's see. Memoir, gearing up for the Holy Palace. We gave up the Demon Palace throne and preparing to enter the Holy Pla Palace tournament. Check your email for details. Okay, so I just want us to check our email again. It's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Head and quit. Go to the mail. So let's see. The something we want a higher spec graphics card. I always want to see the world's graphics at their absolute best. Oh damn it! I can't seem to stop discussing the world. Ah, eh, it's fine. It's your it's your hobby, man. Do you collect anything? Do you travel at all? Mmm. Let's ask him about collecting. Kind of interested to see what he would collect. Aw, oh, why do you have to be so mean, Hasio? If my character could transform, I'm sure it would be as cool as anyone else. I wish I had more cards. Yeah. Collecting stuff is fun. Getting a full complete set is every guy's dream. Yeah, why not? That sounds nice. We already insulted him with the last one, but it was just as good as the other one, so. Alright, so let's take a look at the tournament participation. It's just telling us that please register at the arena counter. Whenever the tournament will be allowed to challenge the current emperor. I'll go to the arena counter and register for the tournament. All right. If we can make our way through the tournament, I can fight serious. Yeah, for sure. Pasio, have you ever tried playing Crimson Versus? Now that it's back online, it may be a card game. But if you set up your cards, it does all the battling for you. So it's easy for beginners to get started. Why not try it out? Just go to the Crimson Versus icon on your desktop to get started. We could do that. So here it is, the Crimson Versus. Let's check it out. So Crimson vs. is an automatic card game. Create a deck, register for the battle arena, and battles will be constructed automatically with other players' decks. Battling nets, you cards, which you can use to build stronger decks. Win matches to become the number one player in the ranking. Okay, so we have some. We have these right here. We only have one copy of all of them. Um... We got the following cards. These cards have already been set inside your deck. So we got Syllabus, Order Upheld, Cat Punch, Master Subaru, Degenerating Hasio, March of Destruction, The Trinity, and Unreaching Blade. And we got a booster pack, Red Rebellion 2. Kappa Rapa Kappa, Balmung. Unreaching Blade, Young Girl's Path, Rose Letters, what was that? Try using your newly gained cards to edit your deck. Choose Deck Edit under the card menu to do so. Okay, so this right here, Deck Edit. Here you can choose which deck you would like to edit. You can maintain a total of three decks and choose any one of the three to use for battles. Okay. So, for our first deck, we just have these right here. Let's 
So we have mind's eye. We have charge ahead, vanguard arrow. Okay, no. So I'm the general, which is the uh, degenerating Hasio. We have march of destruction, the Trinity, and unreaching blade. For that one. The other one is Syllabus, Order Upheld, Master Subaru, and Cat Punch. The other one is me again, Degenerating Hasio, Master Subaru, Upheld, Order Upheld, and March of Destruction. Here you can choose which cards in your deck you wish to switch. Card types are mainly divided into generals and units. A single deck is made up of one general and three units. Each general has a Charisma stat, which amounts to the maximum cost available to units. Always consider a card's abilities and its Charisma cost to make the strongest deck you can. Okay. Honestly, I kind of want to leave it and just see how they go. After editing your deck, try using it in a practice battle. You can use practice battles to pit one of your decks against another and verify your card's abilities. Okay. Practice battle allows you to battle two of your own decks. A battle will begin after choosing left side and right side decks. First choose a deck for the left side. Sure. Choose your opponent for a practice battle. You can choose more opponents as you rise in rank. Okay, choose the right side deck. We'll go against the syllabus one and see how that goes. Hello, Aaron. How you doing, buddy? Alright, so let's go next. So deck one's unit card, Unreaching Blade, cost is three, versus deck two's unit card, Cat Punch, cost one. All right, so it wins. So Unreaching Blade wins. So far, deck one is doing good. All right, and then we have the Charger Head, and then we have the Fulcet's Trial. See how that goes. Oh, he gains an attack, so he won. Okay. Now it looks like I'm going to lose on that one, too. But then we have this. And Syllabus is much, has much more uh, attack than I do. By two. Oh, okay, but we have more HP, which is interesting. So it looks like however many win, you get to use to augment your other general card, which is interesting. Ooh, yeah, definitely not going to go well. Alright, so we got Mind Eye, though. You bait an attack from an enemy general for one turn only. So we evaded the attack. But we don't have very much... Oh, he has 17 HP left. Um, let's see. Now he's down to 15. But we already used our only card there. So he's probably going to beat us still. Ability activated. Plus 1 AP, minus 1 HP to general at the start of your every turn. 
So he became a 6 AP. And he took damage. So we attack, dealing 2 damage to him. And then he activates that again. So he's probably going to beat us here, chat. Attacks, we take seven. Then we attack, bring him down to nine. But I think he's still going to get us, chat. Yeah, he's definitely going to still get us. If we had another card, or two, we'd probably win. But we won't. We only do two damage. Yep. So, so far, the Syllabus deck is actually better. So, we'll go ahead and use that. You need to register the deck you will use to battle before you can begin the battle. Please choose battle entry under Versus to register your deck. Okay. Here you can choose which deck to register for battles. Battles will be conducted only with your registered deck. You can only register one deck at a time. So, we like the Syllabus deck. The Syllabus deck is pretty good. So we'll go ahead and do that. Register deck 2 for battle. Please wait, battle results will be posted. Okay, so it looks like we actually have to go back into the game and just check back every now and then and see how many wins we get. If any. Okay. Preparations for battle are now complete. Please choose end and return to the desktop. A battle will take place automatically once every minute. Okay. Battles will take place while even while playing the world. Turn to Crimson Versus after a while to see the battle results. So that's pretty interesting. So we got new mail. Let's check that out. Okay, it's a greeting card from Atoli. Oh, it's the one we sent her, actually. Thank you for the greeting card. I feel like today is going to be a great day. You've made me so happy. You're always acting like a real rough and, t and tough character, but you're actually very polite and well-mannered, aren't you? I hope I get to see the kind Hasio when I'm around. Let's form a party and go adventuring sometime soon. There we go. Now we're back. Back into the world. See how that's going. You'll be taking part in the Holy Palace tournament. Mmm, yeah. So Master Yada sees all and knows all, huh? <laughs> I guess he still gets his jollies from spying on others. Yeah, it seems to be the case. Try not to forget. That's also the reason you can get information on Triad and Shino, alright? Right. <sighs> I have a message from Master Yada. First, Sirius was reported to have a strong Ida signal coming from him. True. Then Sirius has... We noticed that too, chap. 
possibly been affected by Ida in much the way Endrance was. Which means we gotta take him down. Is the Ida attached to Sirius the same as the one that stole Adelie's epitaph? It's all currently under investigation. As soon as we know more, I'll let you know. Yeah, that would be good. Secondly, let us know. Since the Ida server incident, the number of illegally modified players has increased. Yeah, so? Isn't that CC Corp's problem? I mean, it's kind of all of our problem, Corp right? is unable to control those players' IDs. What? Then that would mean they're all... Yes. Yeah. They all have a faint Ida signal coming from them. Acting outside the limitations Not good, chat. of the game, abnormal behavior... It's safe to assume that Ida has gone beyond merely corroding the game and has now started to affect the players as well. How can that be? I mean, this isn't an Ida server, is it? Uh, I mean, it is. This is just a guess, but... Maybe. Perhaps some of the players who returned from the Ida server were infected by Ida while they were there. Eh, it's highly All likely. It would take would be a few to start, and the infection would quickly spread from player to player. Wow, just like the flu. The situation is yeah. becoming worse by the like virus. We need to take immediate action. Also, in his own way, Master Yada is, well, concerned about you and the girl. Concerned about us? Or why? We're not that crazy. We don't do a whole lot. That gets us into trouble. So, I mean... Concerned, huh? The girl is concerned about you, too. You know, be good to her. No, oh, we are. Don't worry. Adelie. Alcade and I are gonna need another team member. And there's no way I could invite Kuhn or Pai. Nope. Alright, so let's take a look here. Memoir. Uh, entering the tournament is the only way to con contract the Ida infected Sirius. Uh, for now, you should go register. Okay, well, the question is, is who do we bring? I mean, we are already going to bring Alcade, but who else? But everybody's busy. Busy or offline. Hmm. So what do we do? Just says you should go register. I mean, we will, but we don't have enough people, right? I mean, maybe we can do it by ourselves. Is that possible? Is it a single person tournament, maybe? It seems to be. Or maybe you can just make changes. Oh, there's Hi. Adelie. Are you competing in the arena? Yes, we are. I'm joining the Holy Palace tournament. Wow! So you're aiming to be another emperor, huh? Not exactly. I guess. <laughs> uh. I joined the tournament in order to investigate Ida. That's right. We're doing this all for you, the and Chino and the others. Sirius has reportedly been infected by it. It also might be... The Ida that stole my epitaph? Yeah. Yes. So Could be. So, you're doing this for me? Yeah, pretty much. Works out that way.
So we're good. Thank you for registering for the Holy Palace Tournament. Good luck in the arena. We will be informing you of your first match of the day via email. Alrighty. Good. That takes care of registration. Now. I'll contact you once I receive word of the tournament. Make sure to level up in the meantime. Oh, Haseo, thank you so much! So my tournament team members are me, Alcade, and Adelie. Huh. Yeah. I just hope she doesn't get too worked up and tire herself out. Guess nah. I'll log out and check my email or You'll something. You'll be alright. We'll be fine. So we gotta check our email. So let's go do that. And I guess we might as well go ahead and check the uh, Crimson Versus as well. See how our deck is going. We'll do that first real quick. Because there's like a battle a minute. This is the last time 10 battles have been played and 4 wins. So it, it does okay. But not great. Oh, we got a card. Nice. Through a random card lottery. We got G Degenerating Hacia. So we got another one of those. Which is just another general. Okay. Cool. So this screen displays the cards currently possess. Assembling cards into a single horizontal line will produce a line complete. Line complete gives you new cards as bonuses. Okay. You did not make any lines this time. No, we didn't. Once battle results have been posted, you can log. Use the log to see what happened during the battle. Viewing your log will let you know how you need to edit your deck in order to win. Choose Log under the Verse crim first Menus to see your logs. Okay. So let's take a look at it. This screen lets you view the log of the last 20 battles. Choose the log you wish to view and press X to see its contents. Here you can see your win-loss record and what decks other PCs used. Use this information to put together a new winning deck. Opponent players' decks contain trends, for example. When snipe trinities are the trend, opponent decks will have many snipe cards. Putting together a deck with a trinity that is well suited to defeat the opponent's current trinity trend will make it much easier to win battles. Okay, so game tutorial on the menu. So we won against this guy, which is our very first one. I view the log here. So on our very first card, we had Cat Punch, which is about the same as it looks like is the other one. So they knocked each other out. I draw due to cost. For draws, cards from both sides will lose its effects. Alright, so then we had what looks like the lower hand here. So we lost two. But then we flipped ours, which was better than theirs. And then we both had Syllabus. So that got knocked out. But we used our other one that gave us plus two AP, making ours stronger. Oh, which did the same thing for them. So I'm not sure how we won. 
Maybe because uh, we went first, I guess. Yeah, that must be what it is, because we do the same amount of damage and everything. And then, yep, that's exactly what happened. So we got the attack first before he could finish us off. And that's the only thing that happened. Alright. So we had a couple of losses after that, but then we won again. So it looks like we lost with Cat Punch. But then we used Master Subaru. Which knocked each other out. He's got the upper hand so far. Oh, but then we had a better one, Order Upheld. And we gained AP4. So, removes one Assault Element Unit Junction Ability from the Enemy General. Which looks like we didn't have one, so it didn't actually do anything. And ours was just stronger. That's it. Yep. Yep, okay. So, let's go to battle entry. Um, or no, we want to go to card, edit deck. And we want to edit this deck a little bit. So, let's get rid of this one. And we'll put... See, so adds 5 HP to your general, which is kind of nice. Uh, evades an attack. Deals 3 points of damage to enemy general. Moves 1 junction ability gained through junction shield elemental unit from an enemy general. Forces your general to take the first turn. If both parties have junctioned this ability, it loses its effect. Deals one point of damage to the enemy general at the beginning of your turn. That's interesting. Hmm. We already have one of those. Okay, so I think what we'll try... is this one. It's an Assault. Try that. Adds 1 AP to your General and reduces 1 HP at the beginning. I feel like we might be able to do better than that. Adds 2 AP to your General. So let's see here. What else can we replace this with? We only have one of those. So let's do this one right here. So we'll deal a point of damage at the beginning of our turn. And we'll add 5 HP to our general. And add 2 AP to your, our general as well. And our general will be Syllabus, who has the best so far. So, yep. I like that one. That one's deck two. So we're gonna go versus, right? Battle entry, deck two, 
And then we'll do that one, and we'll see how that one goes. So let's see uh, what we got for Gaspard here. Exactly, it's so much fun to collect things. Some people just like to buy the complete sets on auction sites, but I prefer to collect them one by one. There's nothing better than finding a missing card to fill in a hole in your collection. I want to see how good you really are. There's a quest that should be perfect. Cat smiles silently. A twisted name for a twisted guy, don't you think? You can sign up for this quest at the Daldana Quest Shop. Don't forget to invite me. Oh, I almost forgot. This quest requires three people, so bring whoever you think would work for the third. Don't keep me waiting. Looks like Alcade is feeling a lot better. I guess I'll hang out with her for a bit. Um, let's see. So we'll go back in real quick. There we go. Alcade has invited me to join her on a quest. Doldana's cat smiles silently, huh? Yeah, so we better go there then so i think we gotta go here warp menu we gotta go to town daldana and there's alcade right there so we might as well just add her and whoever is available which is likely going to be adelie oh there's more than adelie okay and Adelie is not available, actually. She's offline now. But we could add Pi. Which we probably should. So we'll do Pi and Alcade. So we're all going to be fighters, so I may have to heal a bit. But that's not a biggie. And then we will go to... Nope, never mind. We just have to run over here. Except job. So cat smiles silently. There it is, right there. Dr. Pow. We get a text of power. And kick the white malice cat. Okay. Interesting. All right. And there he comes. Hey. Hey, what's up, buddy? How are you doing? My name is Dr. Powell. I'm researching lucky animals. Specifically, I am collecting and analyzing the lucky data the lucky animals possess. About one week ago, I went to a certain field to investigate their ecology. Wow. Upon doing this, I was blessed with the sight of an animal I had never seen before. It was a cat who looked as if its white fur made out, was made out of clouds. Okay, interesting. A monster. No, that's not right. It was the unlucky animal, Malice Cat. An unlucky animal. So it does something bad to us, I guess. That'll be interesting. I discovered the incredibly rare White Malice Cat. It was very quick, disappeared from my sight in an instant. I would like you three to bring back the data of a white malice cat. I will entrust you with this as well. So we got a lucky sphere. If you kick a lucky animal while carrying that, it will automatically record the lucky data you have acquired by doing so. 
I would like you to record the lucky data of a white malice cat using that item. I pray you are successful. Oh, we will be. PC has an odd way of talking. We may have to use our motorcycle. Wait, I remember that I sometimes. This white malice cat. No, nobody Basically, has. That's why he wants us to do it. Haunted. Yeah. So we just have to go and find the white malice cat and give it a nice kick, huh? Yeah, that seems to be what it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. So we gotta go back this way. Alright, so warp menu, and then we go there. It's a level 50 area. Just a little bit of treasure. So we hit him, take these guys out. Do a Gale Blade again there. Try and take him out real quick. Do another one, because he's a single target. There we go. Easy enough. Alright, get out of the way, please. Alright, simple Earth Balm.
Gale Blade there. Block. Okay. Thought he was gonna attack us, but he didn't. Yeah, well, I mean, we are over level for this area. The only one who's not is Alcade. So he's not up here. I'm guessing he is all the way at that end. So let's see, we can go here. Grab the chest there. We all pile on them. We take them down pretty quickly. There we go. Easy enough. There we go. Just keep hammering him. Go. Come on. There's got to be someone better. Uh, I mean, there definitely is somebody better. Uh, yeah, well, I thought we'd sneak up on him, but we didn't. It's fine. We got a sword dance, so we can hit both. There we go. Up here. Yeah, there he is. Alright, let's get on our bike and see if we can knock him down. Hey, I found him. Yeah, we did. Here we go, Hassel. Alright! We got him! I mean, not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've come! Foolish adventurers! Yeah, you say that. <laughs> Just try and kick me if you can! Oh, we will. Unlucky animals are mysterious creatures that can be found in some areas. If you approach one, it will give you various curses. However, there are also lucky animals that bring luck. They have the music symbol on top of their heads. Where do you go? Ooh, he is pretty fast. There we go, we got... What? How many times we got to kick him?
Okay, several times, apparently. Mm-hmm. Dad by mere humans. <laughs> Dad by mere humans, huh? <laughs> we broke the curse. And we got data of white mouse that cat. Takes care of that. Yes it does. We did cool. it, Haseo. All that's left is to go back to the quest shop. Cool. Oh, we got a word. Two wings. Cool. Yep, we should go back. And we will. You handed back the lucky sphere. Wow. Ah, so you were successful. I'm quite pleased to hear that. Now I'll be able to make more advances in my lucky animal okay. research. I must thank wow. you. Oh, yes, yes. My house is in Makenu's Alchemy District. I have many jobs I'd like to request to capable people like yourselves. I hope you'll visit sometime then when circumstances permit. Allow me to wish you well until we meet again. There we go. Cool. Cheating bastard, that is. Wow, look how cheeky she is. Damn. She says we're pretty good for a low life cheating bastard. Holy crap. I think so. <laughs> you know, it's okay to call on me if you ever need my help. Will she do, I guess. Invite her again, she should say so. She isn't very straightforward, is she? I don't know, she kinda is. In some aspects, anyway. Oh, we have a new email. Let's see what that is. Collecting A, I know Gaspard loves to collect cards, but me? Oh, I know. I do collect the chopstick covers I've gotten from all the restaurants I've visited. They've got lots of different designs, so it's pretty interesting. Okay. Do you have a favorite celebrity? What kind of TV shows do you like? We'll ask him about this one. Kind of curious. New campaign start. To inform you that the lucky data collection, okay, so we can do that later on. Well, Natalie. I know it's kind of late, but I thought you should tell everyone in Canard that you're going to participate in the arena tournament. Let's go together, shall we? I'll go see Syllabus and explain things to him directly. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised we haven't talked to him about it yet already be honest. So we'll go ahead and quit. Oh, and check the uh, Crimson Verses, actually, because we did forget to do that, and we did a bunch of battles, it looks like. He had five wins and 15 losses. Wow, that's bad. Okay. Oh, but we got a booster. We got three cards. A Xerxes Laugh. What was that? Okay, so we got all of these. Climactic Theory. Passing Through. Deals three points of damage to enemy general. Ooh, that's pretty nice.
And it's a four. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely want to use that. So one. But it recovers one HP for your general each time it becomes your turn. Ooh, if it does win. Interesting, okay. Forcefully restores your general's HP to one when his HP becomes zero. It can only be used once per battle. And it's a two, so that's not bad. Hmm. Okay. I didn't fill out any lines, it looks like. Nope. But, that's pretty cool. So, we go card, deck edit. So our strategy here didn't work that well. Let's get rid of this one. And put, where is that one? Quick Lightning, yeah. Let's put that one there. It's only a one, but it should be fine. Yeah, let's put it in the middle here and see how that goes. Oh, this is deck one. But yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, so let's confirm that. But let's go back to deck two. And beginning of your turn. That's HP. It's two AP to your general. Get rid of this one, and we'll do the deals three points of damage to the enemy general instead of one. It's one every turn, but does nothing if it fails. So let's try that. So we got a versus battle entry, and then we do two again. And we can try one as well later on. We'll try two first and see how that goes. Yep. So I think what we'll do here, chat, is we'll, uh, Go ahead and go to Canard real quick. And then I kind of want to try we'll something. Silas and explain things to him directly. I should be able to see him if I go by Canard's at home. I actually haven't tried doing it, and I think I should, just in case. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it would be nice if I could switch games on the fly while still recording. And, and staying live, but I'm not entirely sure if that works or not. Uh, so I think we actually have to go back. Or is our home? No, our home is here now. Yeah, that's right. It is here somewhere. I keep forgetting that it is here, but it is here. I think it's down here. Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I better call her real quick. Party. Adley. Add her to the party. Alright, she's ready.
I don't think we have to wait for her. Nope, doesn't look like it. Listen, it's about the whole canceling the Emperor thing. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm sorry I didn't talk to you first. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, Haseo. It's really no big deal. Besides, I've had plenty of being an Emperor by now. Also, I'm sorry about going off and deciding on the team members for the tournament by myself. Oh, don't worry about a thing. I've experienced enough tournaments by now. Besides, I'm pretty sure that supporting new players at Canard is much more up my alley. Oh, it definitely is, for sure. Maseo, is it true? Did you really quit being the Emperor? That's such a shame. Alright, we'll be the Emperor of this other one. It'll be alright. Okay, now we got a new mail. I don't think we can log out here, chat, but let's try. Oh, we can. Sweet. Okay, cool. I didn't think you could at the at-home, but I guess you can. And we'll check Crimson Versus real quick, see how that new deck went. Uh, we lost all of them. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, let's try... Deck 1, then. See how that one goes. There we go. New mail. See the first round of the tournament. TV shows. I don't watch too much TV, it's so it's hard to say. I do watch a lot of internet broadcast shows though. Right now I'm really into online jack. They're currently their current story on doll syndrome is fascinating. Yeah, we did check that out earlier, chat. So he likes that uh, that guy. He's a pretty weird guy. Basically went to a, a writer about the doll syndrome's house and harassed him pretty much. He also went to a school and uh, filmed while the students were in session, which was kind of weird and got in trouble. That was kind of funny. And then hit on the teacher. That was hilarious, actually. Uh, thank you for the regular patronage of the world. Your first tournament has been decided. Uh, let's see. This is Crimson Blossom. We request that all participating... All those participating in the tournament register for their fights. At the arena counter. Alright. And then register for the tournament at the arena counter. Alright, we're going to save right here, Jack, because we haven't saved yet. And then, I think what I'm going to do is see about my idea here about maybe switching games again and staying live. I kind of want to see if that's a thing. I actually don't know. I've never tried before. Um, 